You ever go on Pinterest and just like go into a rabbit hole and you keep looking and looking and you find so many artists that are so wonderful and beautiful and you just want to follow all of them. Well, today I'm going to be talking about a majority of the artists that I have found on Pinterest and I'm going to be discussing their art and just being a general fangirl because that's what I do. <laughs> um, I promise if those of you who are watching have come to expect another animatic of a YA novel slash book, don't worry, I'm working on another one. Uh, I hope it doesn't disappoint and it'll be out soon, I promise. Maybe not in the next week, but maybe in the next month. We will see. I have a lot of things to do. Okay. All right. Without further ado, let's talk about the artists. So I'm talking about these artists in no particular order, really. Um, I just have them on my computer with all my tabs out. I have like 20 tabs right now. But anyways, so the first one I'm going to be talking about is Miriam Bonastre Tur. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Bonastre Tur. Uh, she's from Barcelona, Spain. And she is the author of my all-time favorite webtoon, Hucky. Okay, I won't be... Okay, never mind. I won't be talking about Hucky here. I'll be talking about Hucky in another video. But... I'll just be talking about art. Um, yeah, so she's the author of my favorite, most beloved webtoon, Hooky. I basically grew up from high school into college with this comic, and her art style was very, very adorable. And she inspired me as a little, little teenager to get into the animation industry and start my own comic. Um, the book, the physical book, is out on amazon and it might be at your local bookstore so i suggest you go check it out um she always uses very vibrant colors and she uses this technique where she blocks in all the black like they do in manga i really love the amount of detail she puts with her line work and it was really cool seeing her art style develop over the years to what it is now. Okay, the next artist that is the next one in the tab list on my computer is this Korean artist I literally found two days ago. Um, their, their at on Twitter is S-L-D-W-P-S-D-O-R-L-S-K-G-D-D-K So I literally found this artist two days ago on Pinterest from their... I think it was their first post that they ever did on Twitter, November 11th, 2021, and it's a link, and it was so pretty, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to see who this is. Um, they use very colored lines, very graphic art style, question mark, I guess that's how you would describe it. Their coloring is so vibrant. Their coloring is the most vibrant color technique I've seen. Yeah, everything they create just just so vibrant and it looks like all the characters are standing in the brightest sunlight ever and i love it and i'm trying to teach myself how to do that as well and it's it's really difficult to reverse engineer someone else's art so that you can learn and i guess that's how you learn the challenge the challenge is what makes you learn um but i really love their art style i also yeah i'm just in love with them next artist the next artist is a very different art style. They still also use very vibrant colors, um, but they are story artists at Pixar, and they were story lead on Luca and director of Ciao Alberto, uh, the little short that came with Luca. If you haven't seen it on Disney+, Plus, it's very cute. If you like very mm, Ghibli-esque, very chill kind of stories, that's one you should watch. Um... Yeah, so I love their art style. I came across their art because of their Haikyuu fan art. And if you are a big Haikyuu fan and you are also a shipper, you probably will like her art. <laughs> or you already know who she is. But her art style is very Disney-esque and I love it. And it's so good. Um, her use of lines is so beautiful. <laughs> it makes me want to cry. 
and she's also starting a comic which you guys should go check out i'm not going to discuss it in this video because this video is not about comics all right the next artist on my list is alzi i think that's how you say their name um i forgot what this kanji is uh they speak chinese japanese and english which is very cool they also do zelda fan art just like i found them through their link art um i'll i'll put it up on the screen but i found this and i was like <gasps> because it was so cool her art is so beautiful or i don't know if it's a she her whatever their art is so beautiful uh, if you're a link fan like me even though i've never played legend of zelda you will love their art Okay, the next artist I'm going to talk about is one of my very favorite artists. Um, her name is Emily A. Miao. The only way I can describe it is just very elegant and flowy. And the gestural nature of it is just really inspiring to me. And I hope to achieve this level of art one day. And yeah, she's a really amazing animator and story artist. And I am looking forward to see what she does in the future. Um, her use of color is also very beautiful. It's not as vibrant as the other artists, but the colors themselves vibrate when you look at it, which is very cool. And it's very graphical. Um, and yeah, that's Emily Aimeow. You've probably seen her animatics on YouTube, which are really cool. Okay, next artist I will be talking about is Velinci. Or Velinci, I am not sure. Uh, I'm just gonna call her Velinci. Uh, Velinci is also a comic creator, as you can see. I love a lot of comic creators. Um, she is with Hive Works. If you've read Hive Works, let me know down below, and we can fan girl about all the Hive Work comics that have inspired us and have let us enjoy their stories. Um, she makes the comic Countdown to Countdown. I haven't really read it, um, but she is an amazing illustrator. Uh, she's done a lot of Among Us fan art. You've probably seen that around. Uh, she does a lot of Genshin Impact fan art as well. Her recent fan art has been of PJO, Percy Jackson. Where are all my Percy Jackson fans? Yeah, so her use of color is also very beautiful and she uses more comic -y, heavier line strokes and it's very watercolor-esque as my friend pointed out to me recently i didn't notice but it is actually very like watercolor-esque and i believe she takes a lot of inspiration from chinese art because there's a lot of flowing lines and very detailed imagery and like swirly swirly imagery there we go swirly imagery um yeah her art is amazing next artist okay this artist goes by coom grace on instagram and i think she's a background painter question mark or visdev artist i'm not sure but i found her when i went to a lightbox expo online last year or maybe it was this year no it was last year and i was like oh my god i love her art so much i also one time tried to make a viz dev portfolio and i took a lot of inspiration from her uh as you can see i did not end up going through with it because i am not very good at viz dev so yeah uh she does a lot of very cute cats she draws a lot of cute cats eating bread and in that very london-esque sherlock holmes era and i recommend you go check her out next artist is one i have been following for over 10 years maybe over 15 years i found her when i was in middle school and her name is easel vanderhuber i think that's how she says her name uh she has a youtube channel um i don't know if it's still up it's been a few years since i've 
gone and seen what has been going on on her youtube channel uh she does live streams sometimes and it's very chill and i do recommend going to see her live streams unfortunately uh i'm usually sleeping when she is live streaming so i don't catch her streams very often because of the time difference but yeah she is the creator of the well-renowned valued mansion i'm not sure what's going on with the valued mansion i've been anticipating this book to come out for years it's been three years since it was announced to be out um i don't know what's going on with it there was supposed to be a trailer that came out in summer 2018 but i've only seen the whips of it and i hope they didn't cancel it and i hope it's not stuck in like publishing limbo or anything because i really 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 want to see this um she started writing it on wattpad and oh man she is a fantastic writer dude like if it's still up i'll put it in the link below um it's been a few years but uh, her storytelling is so good she has a very disney-esque style like early 2000 2d era disney-esque style and she really inspired me as a tween to keep drawing and yeah she has been a really really big influence in my life i hope to see her characters one day come to life and i hope to read the full story of the valiant mansion one day Okay, last but not least is the most likely well-known, Ami Thompson. Ami Thompson, I found maybe two or three years ago. And I found her... I don't know how I found her. Okay, I might have found her through her Night series. Like the very, very beginning when she started drawing Nights. And I was like, oh man, her art style is so freaking cool. She uses, I don't know what she uses, but she uses like this very fuzzy textured line art, which she uses so well and it complements her coloring extremely well. It's just really amazing and I have a hard time describing how much I fangirl over her artwork. Um, she has a way of drawing where she won't draw the background, but it'll imply that the characters are somewhere and you can like make up the background and i feel like that way of illustrating is very powerful um yeah she is also a story artist like ken and jean i believe and she did viz dev on rayon the last dragon she started getting popularity over this like white-haired princess and this red-haired knight and i'm really interested to see if she's gonna publish a book with the characters in it or something because i want to know more about it and i'm very curious the only thing that is very unsettling about ami thompson is that sometimes she draws these monsters that are very hoseki no kuni um esque monsters and they're very unsettling and they make me very uncomfortable <laughs> yeah so thank you for watching this video these are not all the artists that i follow okay i follow 300 artists in total across twitter and instagram and i just picked the ones that just came to mind the fastest so thank you for watching um next video i will either be posting the animatic or i will be posting another video more focused around my favorite web comics and webtoons and manga um i might separate all those categories actually but thank you for watching i will see you in the next video bye bye